Today I'm going to teach you how to set up an AI programming tool called Aider in Emacs using a package called AiderMax. Aider is a tool that lets you use LLMs to pair program right in your terminal, while AiderMax is an Emacs package that integrates Aider into Emacs. First, let's install Aider and get it working outside of Emacs. You can find installation instructions for Aider on their website. I'm on Linux, so I use this one liner to install Aider. You can copy this line and paste it in your terminal. You can check if it installed successfully by typing ADER dash dash version. Once ADER is installed, let's pick a model to use it with. You can choose from many different LLMs, but I'm going to be using Open Router to use the free tier of DeepSeek R1. If you want to use something else, ADER has great documentation on how to set up different LLMs. Open Router is a unified interface for LLMs, so you can use a lot of different LLMs through it. You still have to pay for most models, but they offer free tiers. And in order to use Open Router or pretty much any LLM through Aider, you'll need to get API keys. So first, let's make an account through Open Router. I use a Google account for this. So I created my account, and now I'm logged in. Once you've done that, go up here and go to keys and hit create API key name it whatever you want and then copy this and save it somewhere local and somewhere where you won't lose it go back to your terminal and type in export open router API key equals and then paste in the key that you saved somewhere safe. Then let's go pick the model that we want to use. You can explore Open Router's models by clicking on the Models tab on their website. And you can look for the free ones by typing in free in the filter bar. I'm going to be using DeepSeek R1, so I hover over this clipboard. You'll see the model ID. You can just click this, and it'll copy into your clipboard. Now go back to your terminal and let's start a new project. We'll call it Aider Power. So I'll make dir Aider Power. And then I'll change into that directory. And let's start Aider by typing in Aider dash dash model equals. And then we'll prefix it with Open Router because we're getting it from Open Router. And then paste in the model ID that we just copied from open router and hit enter. Ader is going to ask you to create a git repo. Uh, just hit yes. And we'll say no for release notes. And now you should have started Ader successfully. And you should be able to prompt it. Test that it works by just asking it a question in ask mode. So you can do forward slash ask how many R's are in strawberry? Cool, looks like it works. Make sure this works before you move on to the next steps as Aidermax won't work without a properly working Aider setup. With Aider installed and properly working, we can now install Aidermax and set it up to work with Open Router. I install it using straight.el. And then I set a key binding to control C, C, A to open up the Aider menu, which is going to be our main interface into Aider. And then I set the environment variable for open router API key using an Emacs package called passwordstore.el, which lets me get the API key from my password manager. You can also define your own function to read the API key from another file if you want. Then I set the default chat mode to code, which lets the AI edit your files. And I set the default model to DeepSeek R1. This should be enough to get Adermax working. Evaluate this new config and let's go back to our project. Back in Ader Power. And then let's make a file inside of the source directory called main.rs. You can do make directory to make that directory 
Now let's call Ader with the key binding we said earlier, which in my case is Control C, C, A. You'll see a bunch of menu options, and the one that I've been using the most is code change. So let's hit C to do that. And then we'll say draw a triangle using Rust and OpenGL. Now it's creating a new file. I'll say yes. I'm creating another file, main.rs, yes. Oh, interesting. It's asking me to install something. I'll say yes. Although, looks like there was an error. I'm going to install this library and try this again. So we'll go back to the file, control C, A, code change, run it again. Maybe I should have used architect mode because that lets you specify a reasoning model and then an editing model. So I could have specified DeepSeek v3 for the architect model and the editor model as DeepSeek r1. I think that might work better, but we'll see what it does now. So silly. Yeah, I already had it. Okay. And then we'll add the output to the chat. Sure. Cargo run. Yes. Looks like we are failing. Well, you can use AI if you want. I guess this is what free AI models give you. But uh, you're all set up to use AI on Emacs.